Okay, thank you. Welcome to the Guru the Guru Room Show. I'm Rocco Cross, and thank you all for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Uh, hello. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> so the the first thing I want to ask all all three is how do you when you're doing a role like this like how how do you find the right the the right voice to use for the role role the role that you're playing well i personally um you know i i i watch the show a lot so at first i was trying to kind of like imitate the original voice but uh, then I was told to like just try to be myself and use my own voice, and that's what I've been doing. So I, I like the the most thing I changed with my voice is just like it's a little bit higher pitched, but it's mostly just me. Okay. Yeah, and for me, I think you know, as mommy, I try to I have a higher pitched voice, so I try to just make it a little more full, a little more rounder. But I think you know keeping a little bit of your natural voice i think what is what makes the show um what it is like so special and what people can relate to because they can hear that genuineness um within all of us so i think that's really important to do nice. and like, oh. and, uh, <laughs> asher yes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like uh for me like uh I don't really have to do much like for my voice. Like I just have to like pitch it up just a little, just like a little bit. But and me and Boots have like so much in common. Like our voice is pretty similar. We have pretty good energy. Uh, this is odd when we both like bananas for some reason. You know, <laughs> but um, we're, and we're both really kind hearted. So okay, okay. And Kathleen and Di Diana, like how how's it feel to like? you got the new door voice and the door voice of the past so, so like how how does it feel to be working with one another i mean i i remember when i first heard diana's voice um i was in the you know i was recording she wasn't there uh, i hadn't met her in person yet and i got so emotional i almost started to cry just because it her voice, I could, I feel like I could hear a little bit of myself when I was her age and that genuineness and the kindness and the love is behind her voice. And I think she's doing an amazing job. And it's like kind of passing on like this baton of this legacy to her. And it's just, you know, she's taking it and, and she's going to do amazing. Asher is also doing the same thing. Like these are two iconic characters that everybody knows and loves. And they're just going to fall in love with them all over again. I'm just so excited. Yeah, I mean, Kathleen, she's great. I mean, her voice is awesome. And, you know, she really made the, the Dora voice what it is. So it just feels like a really great honor to be able to work with her, especially because, you know, I'm playing a character that she used to play all those years ago. <laughs> and and the last question I will ask is for you all 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 three is what are you all looking forward to for this this new new series of dora um i'm looking forward to everyone loving it and seeing all of the new things um you know dora looks a little different but she still has the same character the adventures are new but she still has her friend she you know, Swiper's still there, and there's just and the music is still amazing. There, I'm just excited for everyone to see all of the similarities, but all the differences too that I think they're gonna love. Yeah, and I really hope that you know, people who used to watch it, who grew up with it, you know, they're probably old enough to have kids now or to have you know like younger siblings or nieces and nephews. So I just hope that you know they share this show with them so that they can enjoy it as much as they did when they were younger. And uh, uh, like I, w I hope that all the people like uh, similar to Diana's. Um, I hope all the people who used to watch it like feel like some like nostalgia from it. Definitely. Thank you all for coming on. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye.